Yeah, I'm excited. I've been, um, it's like the highlight of my day, right? To log on <laughs> you and talk about Temple. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I am uh, talking to Sochi today and Sochi lives in the UK, in Somerset, and um, she is a mother of three. So you just wrote me that your twins are around and then your elder son, he's not around, right? No, he's at school, but yeah. I, I can hear the twins on the stairs. They're climbing up to go to their nap. Um, so <laughs> we, sh we should be okay. <laughs> Um, it's such a treat to, um, yeah, it's, it's a highlight and a treat to talk about Temple. And I remember our last conversation we had in the summer. We met uh, in Hamburg this last summer. And um, I just uh, that I just want to continue this conversation because I think it's so also so important to hear for for women who are looking for offerings or looking for temples or looking for some new inspirations or have heard of women's group and temple training when you recall what was your first time in temple and who introduced you to a woman's temple you <laughs> oh really was the first time <laughs> yeah so i knew um <clears throat> shamali's work and i i was following awakening women and then i remember i was it was late at night and I was lying in bed and I got an email, like a newsletter saying, um, temple training in Corfu. And my son was like two and a bit and, um, and I had finished breastfeeding and I just thought I could do this. I could really go to, like, I could go to Corfu and I could do a temple training. And, uh, it was a very clear yes. And, and I wrote to you guys, and and I got there and before I had been running women's circles for a long time and mother's circles and, and holding space but it was really in the mind and and it was just sharing and because I knew about awakening women's work and I had been following you know Shamali's like body of work I, I knew that this would be an invitation into the body in sisterhood and and yeah. it was just like n I didn't even have to think about it that I would come you know it was just yes and do you remember so that will be like you know when we gather for the temple training like we do temple the first evening so do you remember like the atmosphere or what was going on within you is it what you have been expecting or did it surprise you? I totally remember it because it's like there's this pathway now inside me that's alive and it's it's like the temple pathway and and so I have it even now in, inside me that I, I kind of long to get back there. It surprised me in um, just like the, oh, you know, I remember we waited outside the door and I, I didn't know, like I wasn't intimate with awakening women um, in the flesh, right? had just been following so I felt a little like oh I don't know anyone and, <laughs> you know that kind of those triggers right um but that was just a side story like I remember we waited outside the room and then the temple doors opened and it was just like oh everything fell away I think you were maybe drumming or we were in silence and and it was just just like um I don't know it's it's this oneness this entering into a field of remembrance and I really remember that it was like great you know let's let's get going there was no part of me that was um as soon as we went in there was no part of me that was like oh am I in the right place it was just this speaks my language and I think also because I'm a mum and the opportunities to do this stuff yeah. are much slimmer when you're in early motherhood you know, you're so thirsty for every drop. Um, and I, I could feel that too, I remember. Yeah, I just recall also my mother who, when you shared that, oh, my son is you know, breastfeeding anymore, so that might be an opportunity for me to go. I remember those days and also how much, how important it is to have places, of, especially also for moms, you know, yeah. to have places to get, to also um, nourish this flame within the heart, you know, this, it's also what you share. I experience the same. It's like I enter a temple space and it's someone with something within me. It's like each cell of my body or my bones, they remember. Yeah. And my mind doesn't really understand what's going on. <laughs> <kind of>, but <laughs> it's just following. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I remember. I also saw this um, beautiful photo you shared uh, from from the ritual we had on the cliffs in Corfu. <laughs> I have to like um, I have them in a little place on my phone. You know, my photo is a chaos, and uh, but I have to sometimes go back there, you know, and have a look and just remember, like. <sighs> You know, it, it is, it's a felt sense and that's what Temple has given me and what I'm able to share with our community is this, this feeling, this, this movement into feeling from mind down. And that's what really anchored for me in that week was um, the safety and the structures and the invitations to feel. And I was, you know, chronically disembodied for my whole life. I could go anywhere with my mind or my intellect, but to really come into the body was like terrifying. And and yet this wasn't a big deal. It was just like, you're safe. We're here in love. Like, oh, let's feel. Oh, let's feel now. Oh, let's feel now. And, yeah. and that's what Temple offers. But, but it's also what is a, a pathway that is now alive in me within the container of sacred sisterhood. And they support each other. Mm. I love to hear all those, and you know, the, like what you said, what's here now? What's here now? It's this, this one of our key, like essential practices, the feel, kiss, flow, which we practice over and over and over again. It's like training, like training this muscle, yeah. which we didn't, we're so, many of us, most of everybody, it's also the demand of the society, you know, we're so strong in our minds. Mm -hmm not really pay attention to what's happening in the body. Um, if you look back, back you know, how, how did the training have an impact on, on your work, uh, on, on, your, on your women's work? Did, did it change anything? I just feel like it changed everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, an awakening woman yogini for life. Like, this it it changes the work because like we said you know it brings you out of the mind and into the body but it also really brings you into a profoundly intimate space with women and and so this level of contact and of um merging and, and like melting without identity and story and hi this is who I am and this is my trauma and this is my story and this is what I'm feeling today this like this constant togetherness um that we experience in temple it just infiltrates as like a frequency into into my work for sure and also into my life because I know what's possible with women um <laughs> and and it's beyond my wildest dreams you know like I shared in that post yesterday I, I went to an all-girls school and there was so much betrayal and uh, like oh. you know everyone was so insecure and unsafe and and so I was just like women they're not my people you know I'll be with the guys and now what I found in this sanctuary of sisterhood it's I don't know how I could cross through life's initiations without it mm. um, yeah it's so so healing it's medicine yeah, it touches me listening mm -hmm. to you talking about it. It's so, um, and it's also what we have always been doing. It's so important that we remember and also that we. Um, I think many of you, like you shared in your post, you know, there's also this big wound within sisterhood, or this big mother wound as well, or betrayal, and 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 this community we create based on the sisterhood manifesto um this a live community in our circles it's uh it's such a profound guideline in my life wherever i go and and, and then meeting all these women in the circle and being also able to to uh in a safe space to also to express this and be with it. This is also a way, you know, they have taken away our power. Like the, also the mothers, you know, we are the ones, we have the tools now to free us and also for our, for our daughters and for our sons. Mm -hmm. um, 
when you when you look back to the training is there was there anything like the surprise so even you said you have been holding women's group before but like, of course then you come with some expectations you know or you want to learn some tools for your women's group <laughs> so was there anything that surprised you about the training I think the intimacy, you know, this real, um, this real intimacy that I felt with everyone beyond really knowing anything about them. This is a real key piece of temple, mm -hmm. you know, and when we have new women come into the circle, I think they're ready to share. And, and that's what we maybe a habit that everyone's picked up in the resurrection of women's circle is like, you know, hi, this is my name and this is who I am. And so when I was in the temple training, I felt so connected to everybody but I would think oh god what's their name but you know we we had been in the practices which was so profound that it, it just it didn't really matter so it was like a meeting on a soul level um what else was I surprised by how close I felt to you just like you know there's not this big um leader hierarchy that I think we fall into the trap of mm. like the facilitator the ego you know it's it's easy and it's everywhere um and i just felt very seen and happy to also see uh and a sense of real a, un a real unified field um with like good boundaries but but nothing that's you know uh keeping anyone down mm. raising up of everybody in the circle this like 360 degree celebration um within a field of safety it's it's pretty radical it's it's pretty cool <laughs> i like that also right did you post like this three i like this expression <laughs> this 360 degree of celebration yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah i love that you know, we're like, yes. we're like, everyone yeah. is here to, to yeah. honor each other's gifts and to raise and raise and raise and raise and we learned so many ways to bring each other down yeah Yes, yes, yes. And, and I remember like in this particular training, we were like 13 or 14 different nationalities mm -hmm. from all corners of the world. And, um, and this celebrating each other and inviting each one to, to, to show also the gifts to, to not hold back. And this is also, that frees also yourself to not hold back yourself. You say, oh, she's not holding back. Okay, I'm allowed to not hold back as mm -hmm. well. So... <laughs> and yeah. so you know I, every woman in some way has received the message whether she's absorbed it or not that some of her is too much you know yeah, yeah, yeah. too sensitive too much rage too wild too too whatever and and i feel like in temple you know really it just regulates itself through like goddess and, and really nothing is too much and so we can free that um that whole illusion of of being too much or taking up too much space and... yeah this is uh like when I, everything is welcome everything is welcome all the time uh and that it's like this big 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 arriving and um for me it also it feels like i just lay in the lap of the of, of the great mother and she's holding me and um and and there and that's how we gather in temple. Also, I remember sometimes women, you know, when we come into temple and we don't ask for their names. Uh, not because we uh, and now always, of course, when I'm in groups, I'm always really up to learning all the names. But in the first, the, the connection we have, even you know, there's so many different ways to communicate with each other than than the talking. <laughs> Um, when you, um, you know, when, like, like a woman who is, um, a, a woman who, who wants to consider to, you know, to participate in a training or to lead a woman's school, what would you, what you, would you recommend them about the, the training or what would you tell a friend about oh, the training? Just go, just, yes, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I know from our circle that not everyone who did the training is holding temple, but mm. like this is the best way you can spend a week of your life as a woman. It doesn't matter what life stage you're in. It's it's tools for you, for yourself, for your feminine connection, for
for life and and great if you also do have the inclination and the ability to consistently hold temple you're you're gonna get so many tools and 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 just that intimacy it nourishes us so deeply it's it's really um a transformational journey without a doubt you know if it's tapping on your shoulder just listen and and go that's interesting although i remember whenever like all those of you called to come to the trainings many women they say i don't know i ch i just knew i have to be there yeah I just knew there was something within me and that this calling, and I don't know where it's coming from, but I have to be there. Um, Sochi, one thing I would love to talk about or ask you, and I, I'm, I'm sure like many of the young women or the young mothers, they are curious also to hear from you, you know, how, how, are, how are you organizing managing your family so you can hold them? <laughs> well, I, I've made it a priority, so... <clears throat> when my babies were even like i think four, when i was four months postpartum with the twins i was like if i don't get to temple i'm gonna i'm just not gonna you know mm. be on the right path here um it's for me like it's it's self-care and it, it nourishes those deeper spaces and so i uh, i have an amazing partner my husband who who can support me at bedtime um, I have karmic yogini sisters who can arrive early with me to help set up the space. <laughs> and and I, you know, this is a piece to touch on is like that discipline and that commitment and that consistency. Like I've held temple monthly ever since I finished the tra training. And, and I also handed over to a couple of dear sisters while I was uh, preparing for the twins and, and postnatally. Um, and we actually established like a what I called a core temple group that before so we practiced every fortnight for those who really wanted to dive deep we had this teepee in our old garden which our neighbor had and so we would be like under the teepee by the fire like really smoky and on the earth um, so we, we did a lot of practice there so then the sisters were ready to hold the space while I was away and uh, and then and then I just made sure, you know, I put on my my dress, my my beautiful scarf, and and I I raced to temple, and and I still have it now. Like tomorrow is temple, <laughs> and I don't have childcare on a Wednesday, and I'm always like, oh my god, it's temple, and I'm and I'm exhausted, right? But as soon as I get in my car and I put on my playlist, and I know what I'm gonna do because I'm planning and thinking about it um and we get to we now practice in this beautiful yurt at a retreat center down the road mm. and i get there and it's like it's so essential for me to do this you know um it's just it's my life support and so it's the priority that i create and because we've been practicing for so long and so consistently i have now a good circle of sisters who can support um, the other day we went and everybody was late and we couldn't find the key and it was in the wrong place and there was like lightning in the sky and I was thinking we're just gonna have to sit on the grass and 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 do some practices but you know we're here like we oh. are here and 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 that is all that matters and I'm really lucky to have a partner and a, a community who will support me in making it happen. Oh, this is so wonderful. I would love to come to you, York. Oh, come on, I'm going to come to England. I'm sure it's, just <laughs> part, of the, it's part of the plan. Hmm. Yeah, thank you so, so much, Sochi, to share from your heart and, and give us this insight also from uh, how a young mother can also... It's, it's about being clear about what really... Like the base camp you create for your life. Yeah. And... Um, It's so good to hear, you know, that this is possible, also, even though you have small children. I remember when I had my, my temple, I started at home and they, they were very small and they were just, I having in the, I had my temple in the living room. I remember you saying, yeah. I was like, hmm, my son, that wouldn't work with him. <laughs> like we had the agreement, you know, you can, you can be around, but I won't be able to answer questions and talk to you, but you can draw. And then they were just laying there and drawing. And, and then at one point, they just went to bed. So. 
but also to say you know this this could even trigger some mums but I, I this is obviously my second time of being postpartum and I had my son and then I've had the twins and I've done things differently as a mother of multiples because I know what fills my cup and I know that if I don't fill it there's nothing there's there's not a happy household and so I actually you know I put in place the plan to let's say not breastfeed my children at 7 p.m so that I could get to the temple like I um I down regulated my evening attachment to them on those evenings so that I could be free to go right and I think a lot of modern mums we fall into the trap of like well I can't do anything because this is when I need to feed my baby or I need to do bedtime and this can go on for years and I was like this before and I ended up so unresourced in myself that that attachment I thought I was giving my child wasn't nearly as as rich as what I can give as a mother when I bravely close the door you know leaking boobs whatever and and get there and receive and and we put such an emphasis on giving because we're trying to undo all the conditionings from before but like structuring your time to receive is from in my experience for me so much more important and um, vital than just always being there you know, for as an attachment mum. And it's, it's, um, it's taught me a lot. And it's, it's kind of gone, gone 360 with what healthy mm-hmm. attachment nourishment is for a mum. And then also be, you know, my children also, you know, when, when I went to temple, there was no question because yeah. they, they could tell, they could feel the way I came back, how it nourishes me. And um, it's so important. It's yeah. so, so important for us for us to really to take, to have these sacred spaces, the sanctuaries, in order also to, to be fully present with your, with your family. Exactly, and to take your, your guilt or your confusion or your, you know, when we have new mamas postpartum who, who can join the circle and they come and you're so vulnerable and it's like, I've just left my child, you know, I don't know if I should yeah. be here, but you bring it and you get held and it's just, it's, it's pure medicine. And also, I also experienced like during the week, you know, sometimes when I got challenged and, and overwhelmed, but there was no space because you just have to go on being like yeah. doing all the things you have to do all the time. But I knew, okay, I'm going to be in temple on Friday and, and <sighs> there I would just, I just bring it there. And that was so, that just brought me to, and I was so at ease with everything because I knew I have, I can go there and there I give room and I give space and there is nothing too much. I will bring everything. And that's so uh, healing and nourishing. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I save up a scream, you know, that I need to do. And then I know that quickly in my first song of temple, I can really let it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, right, that's what's oh. happening tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so beautiful talking to you. Thank Beloved, it's so cute. I wish you all the best for your beloved family and for your, t- your precious, precious temple work. Thank you. We, um, we wait to receive you in our <laughs> mm, <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you next time, sister. Okay. Much love. Much love. Bye-bye. Thank you.